Welcome to Fairy Tech Channel. Today we are discussing about how to conduct the systematic literature review in simple steps. Now, even though there is literature review, all of you know, but there is one more specific type of systematic review which holds no bias while carrying out the review and it involves the very transparent methods to have or collect the proofs together and make them as evidence without any bias. Now let us go through the process. Very first process is identification. Here, along with the identification, of the research question, the formulation of the problem is also very important. Now, we have to look for what is the research question and keep in mind that it should be helpful for us to identify the subdivisions within the, within the process of research question. Once the initial research has been carried out, we should be able to identify what are the research activities we can carry out in the research work and what are the objectives underlying this research question. These are all should be known by the researchers to, de to decide whether our work is feasible to go forward or we have to narrow down the work. Next, fixing the conditions. Here, fixing the conditions means having the criterias. What are the criterias we have to go through while we have to indulge into the research? We have to fix some particular condition, what should be included and what should not be included. For example, depending upon the type of the data we are taking, the research design we have, what are the types, how we are going to compare that research and how we are going to get the expected outcomes. We have to be clearly maintained what shall be included and what shall be excluded. Once we define the particular condition for inclusion and exclusion, we go along for the next stage. The next stage is the initiation of the research work or is initiate the search how the search shall be started in this one we have to carry out along with the searches on databases which are very relevant to our research work our that is each topic here we can work with almost all the digital libraries available, which are reputed and which are authentic. Do not go with all the things that are available on the internet. They might lead to different wrong things. For that purpose, stick on to the digital libraries which are authenticated with respect to the country, with respect to the type of libraries available, whether it is a reputed one or not, how many volumes it is preparing, and what are the strategies we have to go along with the databases. Now, now we have to prepare a skeleton here for literature and prepare, once we prepare this uh, literary skeleton here, we have to collect the records by using so many reference materials available in the practice like uh, Mendeley, EndNote of Elsevier, uh, sorry, of uh, EndNote, Mendeley of Elsevier, and we have to go for investigating all the reports using different guidelines given by the university officials. Once we go with the search has been carried out, next we have to go with the selection. In the selection process, here, we shall initiate with the title of our research work. Then we might have prepared 
a one para or two paragraph of abstract for our work such that this two title and the abstract helps us to exclude what are not related to our topic and what are the criteria we have done previous will help us what type of things we can include now we can have take we can take the help of our research supervisor and we can take the help of some experts and we can once selection has been happened we can appraise the data whether it is good or wrong by having some analysis type of thing let it be swot analysis like we can take strength weakness opportunity states we can take so many types of analysis and we have to appraise it whether it is useful or not after appraisal we will come to a small conclusion to go forward after moving from the appraisal we go towards the extraction of the data here we should have the help of the reviewers who can help us in this work who are independent and very well known to us they might help us with the help of some softwares we can take the help of reviewers or sometimes we can take the help of the softwares to extract the important information related to our work which is only for the included studies and we might have different templates with respect to our research university or with respect to our research project take the templates make a skeleton and based upon that we have to carry out the extraction of the data and it will be very good we have a small analysis of what we have taken if to determine that if any other details are to be included from the related works already available once extraction is done with the data then we have to move towards analysis that is analyze the data analyze means we can call it as evaluation also we can prepare a comparative table or we can prepare some parameters to analyze most of the times the table will help us which are having with respect to the design and various factors related to our research work when we make a table or column we should start assessing it with the help of included work already in the second condition now we should look that do we meet our requirement or whatever the data that has been extracted is it having the consideration towards our research outcomes then we have to analyze all the data and we have to be careful that we should not involve the excluded studies that have been removed while fixing the conditions in the second stage once after we have analyzed the data and results of our literature review we have to go for interpretation of the review in the, in the interpretation process we have to take care of the advantages the limitations limitations means with respect to the included things the proofs of our the work what we have with us later we have to go with what are the feasibilities that with respect to economical aspects and what are the implications we have to take care of like that and also keep it in mind 
what can be carried out in the near future with our research work even we can prepare a small guidance with respect to our work like once the interpretation is carried out now in the interpretation we can have the graphical analysis as well as the statistical analysis also once this is done we have to report the findings once interpretation of the findings is carried out we have to report the findings here as the literature reviews are to be reliable and they must be iterative process procedure the process here must be reported in a clear and crystal manner and must be in abundant abundant means it must be sufficient and if it is sufficient it will ask it will make that the other researchers can follow this and can achieve the same degree of the outcomes what we have carried out and it has to be followed the conditions that have been fixed in the second stage and the researchers must report the findings from literature search based upon their quality assessment also and they can produce a process flow diagram or flow diagram with respect to a pseudo code that is pseudo algorithm by making pseudo algorithm the reports must contain a pseudo algorithm a process flow diagram or flowchart diagram or like any block diagram and giving the variables and whatever we done and then we can have in the report what you call uh, the key themes are not missing there and it must be taken care that the method chosen must be flexible and the output must be transparent and the conclusion or the summary what we have created here in the report must be supported by the data that has been already extracted this is how systematic literature review helps us to gather the information and put it in a proper way with a transparent objective and having no bias in providing the evidence hope you have understood this video kindly go through all our videos in the fairy tech channel and try to give what are the suggestions you wanted to give here and we will try to incorporate the suggestions very soon thank you for listening to our video